hey guys welcome back to our channel um it has been a while since we vlogged um but i wanted to go ahead and vlog because i am moving so it has been a super long day i've been up since about 7 a.m just moving all of my stuff um so I've just been like cleaning up my room and this is the first time I move out of my parents' house. Duh. So it's just a lot. Yesterday me and my mom went shopping for a whole bunch of stuff for my new place. Um, and then today I did some shopping for just things that I like need. I'm only getting things that I need at the moment. Um, and then, you know, later on I want to add more stuff and I want to take my time with picking out furniture and stuff because I want to make sure I like it in the long run. I'm moving around 3 o'clock. It's right now barely about 12 p.m. because we woke up super early to do all of this. So yeah, it should be cool. I'm super excited um, for this new journey of mine. Hey everyone, it's me, your favorite gal, Nat. And, and I'm with little suits. The Wait, case. I forgot what I say. Oh, oh yeah. To motherfucking Allen Hill. It's been a while, so here I go. It's been a What's year. What's goodie? What is popping? It's your favorite girl, Naughty, and we back at it again with another dang video. It's a motherfucking video, baby. It's a motherfucking video. Guys, we it are took in us season. forever to get here. And I'm out of breath. But we'll get into that later. In a little bit. Why I'm out of breath. But yes, tis the season, as you guys can see a little tis Christmas the tree in the back. We're uh -huh. so excited. Okay, so we're gonna just catch up with you guys while we eat a little Asian food this uh -huh. evening. So um, we're doing <laughs> the noodles, spicy noodles. You just cannot go wrong we with that. We love them. Add the sauce that it comes with, mix it all in, sprinkle some green onions, and add the little sesame seeds. I mean, yellow little sesame seaweed package that it comes with. And I love to pair it with some gyozas. And today we're trying green onion pancakes, and they're vegan because Susan is vegan. Yeah, so it's so, literally you just fry them. And you get puppy. And you dip it in, this is, what is this, like soy sauce, honey. Soy sauce, honey, sesame oil. Let's try it. Sriracha. Oh, it's good, honey. Mm. So it doesn't look appetizing when the noodles sit here. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to like fluff it up. Mm -hmm. And they start to separate. So cheers, guys. Yeah, she's drinking alkaline water, you guys, so. Alkaline water is so good for your soul. So cheers, Many everybody. benefits. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous year. This is coming to an end. Yeah. And the it, last one. The we last haven't time. been on here in a while. Yeah. It's been like, I think, literally one year exactly. So. Okay, I'm going to try these noodles. Yeah, I. the new way I like to eat these is with lemon because she introduced me to that. Mm hmm but I'm gonna go in originally without the lemon first. These. Oh my so god, my mouth is watering. It's so good. Yeah, Susan wants to suck on a lemon. I love it. What's this? Okay, Susan, so let's let let's everybody know what the hell you've been up to. What's the hot gossip? Why did we go MIA? Okay, so we went MIA. Well, I went MIA because, mm -hmm. hold up. Yeah, take a sip to that one. Mm -hmm. Because it's a little like intense. Him. Okay, for, so I'm going to start with me. Something, you know, very important to me. So, I was busy launching Body Me Swim, which is my swimsuit brand that I actually did launch in August. Amazing, phenomenal. Yes, bitch. Go get your swimsuits. Spring is coming, bitch. Body Me Swim. Something I've been and talking about for the past three years finally made it happen. It's nice for a curvy gal. It covers all of your good your goods really nice. Mm -hmm. And bitch, there is no slip or tip. Like your no tip slip will not slip on tip. the nips. Yeah, no nip yes, slips. No nip slips. No coochie lips slipping. No, none of that. Bitch, your cooch is not showing at all. At all. Even if you're going but down a water phenomenal. slide, like we got you covered. Body Me Swim. Go check us out. Go check it out. Well, it's a one-man team right now, which is me, but I don't know why I always say we, because I feel like it's me and Body Me, like a partner together. Well, it is your partner. Yes. Yeah. So I've been busy um, with that pretty much all year. My focus ha has been on my brand, Body Me Swim, that I fucking love and I'm about to build, uh -huh. and it's just the very beginning. I just launched my first collection, and she's stunning, amazing, gorgeous, as she should. Amazing. She gives me... 70 vibes like 70 bitch 
No, you want to put some nice moxie skates on and just wear the bikini and cruise down the beach with this swimsuit. Yes. Like mm -hmm. totally. We'll show with you guys nice clips right here. Makeup. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Put a okay. link right here. Yes. And go follow, subscribe, put in the order. Yes. And holler Boom. at Body Me Swim. This is Susan, the ambassador. I don't know. Is no. it ambassador? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur of Body Me Swim. So that's been my update. What's your update, Nat? <laughs> Tell us a tea ho. Oh my god. What <laughs> well, you guys? It's been wild. <laughs> Tell us how it started. <laughs> You guys, so if you guys don't know this, but I'm gonna be an aunt. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fucking auntie to Susan's first child. I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. I'm just kidding, no, you guys. I'm actually the pregnant one right now. I'm actually very pregnant. I literally have like what, 10 weeks, two months. Which is like two months, yeah. To go, and I'm gonna have a little girl in this world, and I don't even wanna get deep into it because I will literally start crying right now. But this is, has been such a um, life changing year. I got my grind on on being my a lash technician. I've been doing lashes. I actually took a little break, and I'm out of breath. So you guys um, hear me breathe like a damn hippo, a little teenage hippo. It's because literally, I'm carrying like a five pound gal right now. And I honestly love this year. Like from the beginning of January till now, I feel like I have no fucking complaints. I've been living my damn life. Um, I just literally have been going with the fucking flow. Yeah, Nat is genuinely so happy. I am so happy I could cry. So if I get deep into this, I will literally shed a fucking tear um, like a hundred mm. times. But I am very happy you guys. I'm literally just going with the flow. Everyone Everyone's is so, so excited. Yeah, every Tell us how did you find out you're going to be pregnant? Oh my God. Or you are pregnant? I first was telling myself, bitch, I'm going to get fit. I'm going to go work the fuck out, remember? Mm -hmm. I was going with my aunt, little Corey. Mm -hmm. Little Corey, if you're seeing this, you are the one that motivated me to go work out. And so I was like going to start working out, you know? And then I stopped smoking yeah. weed because I wanted to work out and I wanted my, what is it, when you want to like learn how to breathe better when you work out? Breath work? I don't know, but when I would work out, I would die because I was like a heavy ass smoker of marijuana. So I stopped smoking and I was like, I'm going to stop drinking too, you know, might as well. Notice I started getting fucking tired, like sleepy, like so much, like I would nap and it would be like a really bomb nap. And I would get so upset that my man, Andrew, would bug me, like break my Whoa. freaking nap. I would be so upset, like why would you break my nap? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're napping. I was like, why would you break my nap? And I started realizing, oh my God, I'm always sleepy. I'm always snoozing. I was like, I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. This is in June. Father's Day's in June, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Father's Day's in June, okay. So before Father's Day, I was like, I'm gonna take a pregnancy test, and I was here at home alone, and I took a dang test, and right away, bitch, clear blue, ain't be bullshitting. The first person I thought of to tell was this bitch. I was like, no, I'm not gonna tell her. Weird Wait, did bitch. you tell Andrew? I didn't tell Andrew yet. You kept it a secret for I kept it a secret for like a week. I could never. Because I was so nervous. Did like, you write it in your diary? No, I was like, I'm gonna tell him like in a cute way, you know? To Father's Day, Four, come, yeah. I mean, yeah. Forward and rewind. Forward. Forward to Father's Day. I'm like, oh, I'm going to tell Andrew, you know? Mm. Let me tell my little man now. So I went to warehouse shoes the other day before, and I got some mini little vans, like the same ones that Andrew wears. Mm. I got a little onesie that says coming soon, and I put in a little bath, in a little bath, a little basket. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say a little box, but a little ba uh, basket. And I made it super cute, a little pregnancy test, and I told him, I was like, Andrew, sit down. I have something to tell you. So he sat down on the couch, and then... I gave him this box and this fool said, oh shit. He didn't know what to say. He said, oh shit. And I was like, what the hell? And then we just got emotional. Shut up. We, we went somewhere for Andrea's birthday. And like you guys were telling me, like, oh my God. I was telling like, oh, I'm going to go. Oh, we got you a drink. 
and you didn't drink it. Oh, they got me a fucking lemon drop martini, and I love those. I love vodka. Mm. And they're we like, had yeah. no idea that she was pregnant. I have no clue. Yeah, like no clue. And then my sister wants engaged, Andrea. Do you see Drea? Her boyfriend gets on me. Oh, that's why you kept. That's why you stopped smoking because we used to all blaze it together. And I was yeah. like, no. So, anyways, Nat's not there yet. So we're me and Val went to the bar, and we're like, oh, let's get everybody a martini. So she got um, hers. I got Nat Val's, Andrea's. Mm -hmm. So we usually all get martinis, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we ordered one, and then Nat, we're like, oh my god, Nat, here we got your favorite martini, and she's like, I'm not drinking that. And then right away we all looked at each other. We're like, is she pregnant? <laughs> Like, and we're all trying to be super low key, but we were not low key. Like, we could never keep a secret amongst each other. Like, mm -hmm. it literally will last fucking probably two hours. Mm -hmm. You just kept telling me, like, now you're pregnant. Now are you pregnant? And then, and then brother, in front of my mom and my dad, there was so yeah. Nervous. And I feel like my dad. I feel like he was. I feel like my dad does this like thing where he could be talking to somebody, but he's hearing what other people are saying. Uh -huh. So I had a feeling he was doing that to me. Mm -hmm. He was so my nervous. brother asked me. And my brother was sitting my brother was sitting next to me and my dad. <coughs> and Mark asked me, he goes, Nat, you're pregnant. I felt like my dad's kinda eyes like kinda shifted, like he wanted to hear what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, No. In charge. Oh, I was in charge of the gender reveal. It was just like us, like the parents and the siblings. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be like a gender reveal like that. I just really wanted to open an envelope. <coughs> just with like the people that are closest to me. So yeah, I don't there. like gender reveals. So yeah, yeah, I don't. I'm like, I don't need like, all I don't extra feel like there's like, yeah, I don't feel like I need extra. I feel like it's whoever's closest to me. It's so you. intimate. Like, to me, that's what I think of everything. It's intimate. Like, my baby shower, mm -hmm. I wish it wasn't as big as it's going to be because I would rather have people that I'm very close to just there. But, um, yeah, but it's okay. We're going to have a great time. Yeah, it's going to be fabulous. But it's, I'm just saying, like, I think of it in an intimate way. Mm -hmm. Just like my wedding, the day of my wedding, I want it to be a very intimate wedding. I don't very want like quality. Yeah. Like intimate bitch. Exactly. Like every person that's at my wedding, I want to be able to have like a conversation with them, you know? Not like, oh hi, oh hi, like you mm -hmm. know, like, no, I don't like that. And she drops off the little envelope at my house. She's like, Susan, do, I don't know what, what it is. I just need you to go to Party City tomorrow. Give them the envelope. And to then tell them to do the balloon, you know, the gender. Like, oh, no. I wasn't even going to know. But I was like, oh, my God, I really want to know. So that night, I put it away. I'm like, I'm not even going to look at it. Next day, before I go to yoga class, I'm like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna look. I need to fucking see what the fuck Nat's about to have. So should I mean? open it? And the way that they do it is they print out boy and girl. And then they circle whatever, you know, the gender mm -hmm. is. And I was like, I opened it like literally right when I woke up from my sleep. So my vision was still a little blurry. And then all, all I see is boy and girl. And I'm like, oh my God, Nat is having a boy and a girl. <laughs> like, dude, I put put it down. I was like, oh, Nat's having a boy and a girl. Dude, I couldn't fucking believe you're going to have twins. Like, I couldn't wait until the gender reveal. I would cry forever. And I was like, what the fuck? I look at it again, and then I saw lightly it said girl, like circled. Mm -hmm. So guys, we're having a girl in the family. We're so excited. Like you, like I, we know that the like the holidays are here, but you know when someone's so excited Just about one particular thing and they forget about the holidays. Like I don't know. Uh -huh. I feel like usually my family and I will go like on a trip for New Year's Eve. And we're so excited about New Year's Eve that we like kind of forget about Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like obviously we're there, but we're just like so, true. so looking forward to the getaway. You know? That is so and true. And that's how I feel about like Ramona. Like she's coming right. Oh, by the way. Sorry. She wants to keep it a secret. Yeah. Her I name's don't. Ramona. Oh, but I was gonna say you guys, when I popped a little balloon and pink confetti came out, I literally was in shock. Like I feel like in my video I paused because I really thought the pink confetti was gonna turn like a different color. Yeah. It was weird. And I felt super high. But me and my man, we are so excited to be a girl. Like, we are so happy. Like, it's so heartwarming. Yeah, like, it's just like, oh my god, we are so excited. Yeah. And I'm so excited she's gonna be surrounded by so many girls. Like, oh my god. We're gonna teach her to be so fucking phenomenal. Like, mm -hmm. I love it. And I am so excited for this new journey in my life. I'm so excited for this new journey for like my whole family. Because everyone's going to be an auntie. Mark is going to be an uncle. Mm -hmm. My dad's going to be a grandpa. My mom's going to be a grandma. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be a dad. And, and you're going to be a fabulous mom. And I'll be a fabulous mom, dude. I am so excited. Like, 
It We're just so excited. So new. It was like this whole new milestone. Hell yeah. It's like motherhood now. Yeah, like I feel like people look forward to this. Yes, like I can't wait to like, I feel mother. like when we're so young, we always like, oh my god, I want to have kids. Like I feel like everybody always speaks that way. Oh my god. Like we always say like, oh, when I have my baby, I want to have like a kid, I'm, I'm a daughter, I'm going to name it this. Like I feel like at a yes. young age, we always talk that way. Yes. And it's just interesting. Like we all, I, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, like when we're little, it's we all speak that way. such an accomplishment. Yeah. And like I remember. such like a... Yeah, it gets like an accomplishment. I don't know how what other way to say it. Mm -hmm. It's just something I feel like a lot of people look forward to, you know? Wait, so, okay. Were you and Ange, Big Ange, trying to have a baby? Mm. If I say no, he says yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I just told myself, it's okay if it was to happen, you know? Me and Andrew just have a really good relationship, so you have to know who you're going to have kids with, you guys. First of all, not everybody that you're with don't think, like, oh, this is my man, this is the person I'm going to marry, this is the person I'm going to have kids mm -hmm. with. You really have to know this person. Yes. Don't date potential people. Settling in life. That, that's what settling is. Like, when people are like, oh, yeah, that person. Have, your standards are really high, you guys. Yes, but in From order get to get there... You have to be that person too. Like uh -huh. you yourself have to embody that, like truly to your core. Mm -hmm. Or else you're gonna just settle in life. You're gonna settle living at home with your fucking parents. You're gonna be li settling um, at a job that you really don't like. Like you know, like life. Exactly. Like life is so much more than that. Like get just fucking settle. moving and make your standards real fucking high. Like make yourself happy. Like. My therapist always tells me, like, you either love it or you don't. If it's in the middle, then it's you don't. So, uh -huh. so it's like you're in it like a fuck yes, like 100%, or you're not. If it's in the middle, like, it's going to be a no. Mm -hmm. So that's like putting yourself first. That's like a perfect question to always ask yourself, like, all the time. And yeah. I also believe that you really need to have your own life before getting with someone and trying to make a life with someone yeah like like you cannot be with someone trying to benefit off of them trying to make them like they can't be the reason to make you happy like don't am i saying it right like mm -hmm. you know like the the world should not revolve around that person but mm -hmm. think of it like this is you this is me i'm doing this for myself because mm -hmm. i'm happy because of this and that i yes. love this person because this person lets me be my complete self yes like lets me be plus makes me better like uh -huh. flaws and not and without my flaws yes like they love you for like everything who you fucking mm -hmm. are like the ugly part and the good part yeah if you guys can make that shit work then that's like empowering you know that's when you guys benefit each other mm -hmm. but if you guys are using like kind of like codependency like if you're using oh, yeah. another person to kind of like mm -hmm. cover up like you know, like people um, drink or like smoke to avoid things. You know, they kind of use that as a band aid. Mm -hmm. It kind of like the same with getting into a relationship. Like you're using this person, like validate you mm -hmm. that you're worth it. Like, but you should be able to validate yourself without anybody around. Like, exactly. That's why you guys should really learn um, how to meditate, how to really go within, feel yourself, and love yourself. Yes, like love, like get to know you. Like Nat, who are you? Like who? What does Nat like to do? Like fuck society, uh -huh. fuck what everybody else has around you what your parents say like what do you really want to do you know like ask yourself those type mm -hmm. of questions and it's all a journey like, and it's it really all about is. the now like here not don't think about the the future like think about the now how do you feel now yes right don't now. think about how you're gonna feel or how this person's gonna make you feel like oh this person's gonna get give him some time maybe next year you know yes things will be better or no bitch it's about the now like me and Susan were talking about like people that or how like this title, what is it called? Toxic? Toxica? Yes, Toxica. Toxica. I'm really that is so ugly. <clears throat> yes, people it's think like, it's like a trend like to be in a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And I, okay, I understand. Toxic is a very 
We all have toxic traits though, but don't. And it's Blanc different for everybody. Uh -huh. okay? Like ev like that, a toxic trait could be different for another person. A toxic relationship could mean something else for another person. You know what I mean? It's you need to know though, like what's healthy and not healthy. Yeah. Like don't embrace being toxic. It's, it's not, not cute. cute. You guys. Get the fuck out. Like get the fuck out of my <laughs> like, way. Like bitch, people are like obsessed with saying on their bio toxica with my toxico i'm like bitch how and they were like you? matching shirts i'm sorry like you're not my friend it's like, like i like, don't want to talk to you I'm imagine so what the, your guys's family stink but people are like what the fuck like how is he toxic like mm -hmm. or how are you toxic to him i would think that is so dumb <clears throat> like if i was to call my man toxico my fucking dad would probably be pissed as fuck like why we would all make fun of her yeah like why what's so toxic about him i don't know you guys it's just not cute like, what can you guys say nice shit now? I don't know. People are being on some weird know. stuff. Yeah. Like, is I, it just us that think that is weird? Because I feel like me and all my sisters think that is such a weird fucking little trait that's going on. A little trend to be a toxic and love it. Like, mm -hmm. it's not fucking cute. Like, you guys, we as human beings, I'm going to get a little spiritual right now. Uh -huh. But I'm going to tell you guys. So, how do you think we were built? Like, not built, but created. We were created by our parents literally making love to each other mm -hmm. all that fucking energy all that energy created another human being we were born like from love mm -hmm. so and love is like the strongest energy so we all have a very we come from a loving family a very loving family super close family yes and like even when so i notice when i'm like at my highest state when you know when you feel like your fucking best like with those those days where you just feel so good like oh my god those are the days where i feel so much overflowing of love in my body like so oh, yeah. much energy that like is it wants to pour out like i go into the gym and i'm just like attracting good nice ass people like yeah and it happens that way energy is so real you guys like it's not this like superficial thing like so surface level you guys it's so deep if you guys like really research and like find knowledge on this oh my god it was you're having like you wake up in a negative state negative shit happens throughout the day right away like, right away right back away. to back back to back back to back Bitch, that used to go on with me a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I used to always wake up super fucking moody. This is more when I lived at my mom's house. I feel like when we all lived together, it was very chaotic. Very chaotic. Too many personalities. Too, so we're better off, like, living apart. Yeah. But and now that we live apart, all we're day. super close. And when we all lived together, we did not want to be at home with each other. Like, it's just like we're so much alike, I guess. Yeah. And it's like, we're so alike. It's kind of scary. No, we kind of are. But... I used to always be so pissed because I used to share fucking rooms with this bitch. And this bitch is a psycho. And then I felt like I was psycho too. So I, I was, was like, a psycho. Yeah, I felt like I was psycho too. So I was like, oh, hell no. Like, we both were very bad states of, in, our, uh -huh. in our mind. So I used to pop off right in the morning. And I feel like oh, bad shit used to always happen. So when I moved out, dude, I worked on that. Like, that was my goal to work on. Mm -hmm. Stop being so angry when you get up. Ha like wake up with gratitude dude like it literally changes a lot of shit like i am not the person i was last year or the year before like dude every That's year amazing. you progress mm -hmm. you have to work on yourself That's what i'm saying do not depend do on someone work. to make you happy yeah like like do the work take care of you like be yeah. by yourself dude get to know who and the it's fuck okay you are. to realize that you are in the wrong you know yes like, it's okay to like, realize, like, oh, shit, like, I'm the fucking crazy person. Okay. Yes. What is a pattern here? Like, uh -huh. so that happened there, and now this is how, okay, this is a pattern. So clearly, this is probably coming from me. So now, let me, like, get, dig in. Like, where is it coming from? Dig in, You though. dig in, you dig in, you're going to fucking cry. Uh -huh. Your old world is going to shatter because it's, like, old belief systems. And mm -hmm. then you're fucking reborn again. It's, trust me, guys, like, ugh. Spirituality has, has, I'm not going to say saved me because I've saved myself. Like, I've become my own healer. And not even that, I'm not even that spiritual, but dude, I totally understand where she comes from. Because yes. I think the same way, like, bitch, dig deep into your own self. Stop trying to dig deep in others and be like, you're the problem because of this. Yes. Bitch, you're the problem too. You're the fucking problem too, bitch. Like, it goes like that. Stop trying to blame everybody for your fucking Yes, problem. like, 
Stop putting your fingers. Uh -huh. Like, okay, accountability is everything for me. Like, mm -hmm. if you have that, if like if you have that trait, oh my god, I respect you. Like, yeah. Like that's how that's where real confidence comes from. Like, you know what? I'm actually not that perfect. I have these flaws, these flaws, but I've accepted that about myself. Mm -hmm. And like what now? You can't like what you can't tell me nothing because like I know me more than you know you think you know me. You know? And I, I can love being that way. Yes. I honestly love that I'm in this place in my life where I could be like, bitch, yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with saying that. It was a long fucking way. Being real would go a long fucking way, bitch. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that much. And be a lot of people are not gonna like you for being real. Yes, but bitch, and that's okay. That's how... fucking okay. I would rather be liked by the little circle that likes me. Mm -hmm. Quality over quantity, any day, anytime, any day. And that even goes with marijuana, like. And that even goes with body me swim, bitch. Quality, honey. Yeah, quality over quantity. Yeah. Okay, good. I was like, shit. At least like quality over quantity. I was like, damn, bitch, I don't do that for my marijuana. <laughs> I should have been spending hella money on that shit. I'd rather be with people that are like good humans. And in reality, it's just literally my sisters. Mm -hmm. Like I meet, I'm friendly with people, you know, I'm friendly with people at work. I talk to people. But it's like I cannot really go out with these people. And I probably could go out with them. But I just feel like I always have like this shield up. Yeah. It's kind because of like, she's kind of saying like, it's not, it's kind of like what I was saying earlier. It's like, I either really want to go or I don't. If it's a maybe, then it's more of a don't. You know, it's like, do uh -huh. I really want to go to dinner with that person or I don't? So it's like, you know, that's putting yeah. yourself first. And I that's what self-love is. It's, it could be something so simple. It's like you're walking, I mean, you're driving. Maybe you, you fucking shopped all day. Now you want to pick up some food. And you're driving and you're like, okay, do I want in and out today or do I want pizza? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, in and outs right here, uh, but the pizza's more over there, but I really want the pizza. Like, it doesn't matter if it's convenient. Like, do you really want the fucking pizza? You're going to go get the pizza. Because yes. it's, it's like the smallest little things like that. Yeah, guys, but that's what we've been up to. You, We've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of inner work, shadow work. Mm -hmm. Just trying to work. evolve like your shadow side, you know, the dark side that nobody really sees. Oh, like shit, your evil yeah. side, that's your shadow side. For sure. Mm -hmm. Especially now that I'm going to be a mom, I'm trying yeah. to work a lot on myself. Like, I like, can't wait to show little Ramona, like, things that I've learned, you know? Like, things that we don't um, get yes. taught in school. Like, they don't educate us on things like this. I honestly think I want to homeschool her. And you know, yes, absolutely. Okay, everyone. So, we're going to close out this amazing little video that we just recorded for y'all. Because yes. we all know you guys missed us. I know you guys missed me the most because I love to talk. And Susan loves to chit-chat. Yes. But we are going to see you guys later. We'll see you guys maybe Christmas. Yeah. For sure Christmas. Because we're going to have the whole gang with us. And you're going to see our Her belly. My it's belly. so cute. Don't forget to follow. I mean, subscribe, like, and share. Yes. And we'll see you on Christmas. Bye, guys.